group 7 elements they include fluorine symbol F chlorine symbol capital C small L bromine symbol capital B small R iodine symbol capital I physical properties fluorine and chlorine are gases bromine is a liquid iodine is a purple volatile solid melting points the melting points of group 7 elements increase down the group due to increase in the molecular mass and thus increase in the strength of under all forces all molecular forces the size of molecular forces increases with the molecular mass fluorine is a gas chlorine is a gas bromine is a volatile liquid while iodine is a volatile solid atomic size this increases down the group due to increase in the number of field electron shells and screening effect screening effect increases more than increase in the nuclear charge for electronegativity this is the relative tendency of an atom to attract bonding electron in a covalent bond with another atom of another element electronegativity decreases down the group down the group both screening effect and nuclear charge increase but screening effect increases more rapidly than increase in the nuclear charge bond strength fluorine fluorine bond is 158 chlorine chlorine bond is 242 kilojoules per mole bromine bromine bond is 193 kilojoules per, per mole iodine iodine bond is 154 kilojoules per mole so generally the bond strength increases down the group from chlorine to iodine Fluorine has got abnormal low. Fluorine, fluorine bond. Reason from chlorine to bromine, the bond strength decreases due to decrease in electronegativity. When electronegativity decreases, the ability to attract bonding electron decreases. So the bond becomes weaker. The bond strength of fluorine, fluorine bond is abnormally low because fluorine atoms are very small the bonded atoms experience high repulsion forces from non-bonding electrons The fluorine fluorine atoms are very small that the non-bonding pairs of electrons are close to each other and they experience strong repulsion between each other. The repulsion between the non-bonding electrons weaken the bond between the fluorine and the fluorine atoms. Methods of preparation Fluorine is prepared by electrolysis of molten calcium fluorine. Fluorine is rebited at the anode. Two fluorine minus two electrons will get fluorine gas. Industrially, industrially, chlorine is prepared by electrolysis of brine. Brine is concentrated sodium chloride solution. 
Chlorine is liberated at the carbon anode. Chlorine minus two electron, you get chlorine gas. In the industrial process, bromine is prepared by displacement of bromine ions by chlorine from sea water. So bromide ions plus chlorine, you get bromine plus chloride ions. Laboratory preparation, chlorine, bromine and iodine are prepared by oxidation of halides with acidified potassium permanganate or manganese to oxide. So Manganese and plus halogen ions in the presence of an acid will give you a halogen as a chlorine, bromine, or iodine. Similarly, manganese dioxide plus halide ions plus an acid in the presence of an acid will give you a halogen. In, in the organic chemistry, we are interested in a balanced equation and write symbols. Iodine is capital I, bromine is capital B, small r, chlorine is capital C, small l. Chemical properties, fluorine is the most reactive nanometer. Reason is, it has the highest electronegativity. It has a very low fluorine-fluorine bond. A reaction is the breaking and the formation of a bond. If the bond fails to break, the reaction will not take place. Also, fluorine forms a very strong covalent bond with other elements. It means that when fluorine reacts, it releases a lot of energy, and it has got very low fluorine-fluorine bond, so the energy given out during the reaction can easily break the fluorine fluorine bond. One reaction with other elements. Fluorine react combines with all elements except oxygen, helium, neon, and krypton. Chlorine, bromine, and iodine combine with many metals and nanometers. Usually, combination with chlorine is the most vigorous, while the combination with iodine is the least vigorous. Metals that have more than one oxidation state will react with the chlorine to give a chloride in the highest oxidation state. For example, iron will react with the chlorine to form iron free chloride and not iron 2 chloride. B, reaction with water. Fluorine reacts with water to liberate oxygen. 
water plus chlorine will give you oxygen gas plus hydrogen fluoride aqueous chlorine and bromine are moderately soluble in the water and to some extent they are hydrolyzed by water to halide and halide one chlorine plus water will give you hydrochloric acid and chloric acid one doxylation state of chlorine here is a positive one that's why we call it chloric acid one iodine is insoluble in the water and is only very slightly hydrolyzed in the water but it is soluble in the presence of potassium iodide due to the formation of a soluble complex potassium iodide plus iodine you get a soluble complex <music> The Science Foundation College in Namavu kwe Jinja ngo ingira kilomite mu somero lya dene boarding eri aba wala na balenzi ku Olive tusomesa arts and sciences ate erevo tusomesa sciences zoka omwana muletu ku The Science Foundation College fetu singo kusomesa sciences okumanya bisinga wo ba ku 0573982090 The Science Foundation College best on sciences and best for sciences reacts with colored dilute sodium hydroxide to give oxygen difluoride to give oxygen difluoride Fluorine reacts with dilute sodium hydroxide to give oxygen difluoride and water. Chlorine and bromine react to give sodium halides and sodium halide halides one. Sodium hydroxide plus chlorine to give sodium chloride and the sodium chlorate one similarly sodium hydroxide aqueous plus bromine plus bromine liquid will give you sodium bromide aqueous plus sodium Bromate, sodium bromate, one. Iodine does not practically react with colloid dilute sodium hydroxide. However, the term dilute is not specific. Some books will tell that iodine reacts, reacts with the dilute sodium hydroxide to give iodate five. Iodate 5 plus iodide plus water. C2 reaction with the hot concentrated sodium hydroxide. Chlorine reacts 
to liberate oxygen. So sodium hydroxide plus fluorine will give you oxygen gas plus two plus water plus plus fluoride ionize chlorine, bromine and iodine react with concentrated sodium hydroxide to liberate halides 5 Liberate Halit 5. Reaction is with other compounds 1. Silicon dioxide. Fluorine displaces oxygen from silicon dioxide. Other elements. Don't. Silicon dioxide plus fluorine, you get silicon tetrafluoride plus oxygen gas. Other elements don't. Two chlorides. Fluorine displaces chlorine from its salts. Other elements don't. Quiet iron is plus fluorine, you get chlorine gas plus fluoride iron is. Hydrogen halides preparation. Hydrogen fluoride is prepared by one reacting concentrated sulfuric acid with calcium fluoride reacting by reacting concentrated sulfuric acid with calcium fluoride. Calcium fluoride plus sulfuric acid, you get calcium sulfate solid plus hydrogen fluoride gas. Two, hydrogen fluoride is prepared by heating acid fluoride in a copper or platinum tube. Potassium hydrogen difluoride heat will give you potassium fluoride solid plus HF gas. Hydrochloric acid hydrogen chloride is prepared by reacting potassium chloride with a hot concentrated sulfuric acid. Potassium chloride plus sulfuric acid, you get potassium hydrogen sulfate plus HCl gas. The water HCl separates from the mixture. HCl, HBr, HCl, HBr, HI can be prepared by reacting the halogen with the hydrogen. Example Melting points Melting points increase from H0 to HI due to increase in the molecular mass the melting point of HF is abnormally high. The melting point of HF is abnormally high due to very strong strong hydrogen bonds bonds fluorine is very electronegative therefore the bond between fluorine and hydrogen is very polar 
So fluorine forms strong fluorine hydrogen bond. Strength of hydrogen halic acid. The order is HI, is a strong acid, then hydrogen bromic acid, then hydrochloric acid, then hydrofluoric acid. The reason the HX bond strength is in order, the bond between hydrogen and, and iodine is weaker than the bond between hydrogen and bromine and is weaker than the bond between hydrogen and chlorine, is weaker than the bond between hydrogen and fluorine. For that reason, the bond between hydrogen and iodine can easily hydrolyze to produce a proton. Presence of more hydrogen ions in the solution means stronger acid. Comparing the strength of dilute and concentrated Hydrofluoric acid. Concentrated hydrofluoric acid is a stronger acid than dilute hydrofluoric acid. Reason: both dilute and concentrated hydrofluoric acid ionize in water as follows: hydrogen fluoride ionizes to produce hydrogen ion and fluoride ion. In concentrated hydrogen fluoride. Excess hydrofluoride molecules complex with fluoride ions and the clear molecule from left to right to produce more hydrogen ions. So fluoride ions plus excess hydrogen fluoride molecules will give you a complex ion. The move of fluoride ions from the solution will shift equilibrium from left to right, producing more hydrogen ions. Reaction with silicon dioxide. Hydrogen fluoride reacts, reacts with silicon dioxide to form first silicon tetrafluoride and then fluorosilic acid. Silicon dioxide plus hydrogen fluoride will give you silicon tetrafluoride plus water. Then silicon tetrafluoride plus hydrofluoric acid will give you fluorosilic acid. HI plus H HCl, HBr, HI don't react with silicon dioxide. Reaction of hydrogen halides with sulfuric acid, hydrofluoride and hydrochloride do not react with sulfuric acid. Hydrogen bromide and hydrogen iodide are oxidized by hot concentrated sulfuric acid to bromine and iodine respectively. So sulfate ion plus Sulfuric acid plan, bromide will give you bromine, sulfur dioxide, and water. Similarly, sulfate ion
Hyaluronic acid, strength of hyaluronic acid, chloric 7 acid is a strong acid than chloric 5 acid, than chloric 3 acid, than chloric 1 acid. Reason? Chloric acid is the strong is a strong acid because it has very many oxygen atoms to withdraw electrons and weaken the bond between oxygen and hydrogen and make it easier to release a proton. What you are saying that in the chloric 7, there are very many oxygen is that residue electron is from chlorine atom. The effect is transmitted between oxygen and hydrogen bond. The bond weaken is and the hydrogen is easily released as a proton. So the easier it is to release a proton the stronger the acid structure of halic iron chloric 7 iron is tetrahedro chloric 5 is Triangular pyramid, chloric ferry is the angular, chloric one is the linear, chloric seven, this is the oxidation state is seven, oxidation state is seven. Oxidation state here is 5, oxidation state here is 3, oxidation state here is 1. Thank you very much. You can find other groups in other videos. Download notes, question and answer from digitalteachers.co.ug. Rachi 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 Watching, one man of Korea Mutiaro. Watching, was a Samara Colimba. Rusu, what you from Bida Wava Kuaz, Rusu, what you from Bida Wava Wacham, Umuru Jatana Bakanua. No, what I was that you bati jam, and you call your Mukwana to sing. Watching. Watching, Mondo kuwa meraji wa kumazi Wete gekere muno Mfuni raka sera kamala Boza nji somu kogwa nyumirwa Waga za nji sami pira nji misa Za nji sapaluni Za nji sama veli Rusi nyoka noku yoka nyumirwe Fayo Fayo Oh, 
Mbo kwa gala research oku nyuma Kwa ngesi wa muli search Kwe rubo luganda sobola Oku wa so mchalaba uo Njaka lo mchalaba uo Bejita yomba yomba Bejita nyika nyika Bejita gana gana Kwa ya gala kaunga ba uo Kwa ya gala mchira ba uo Mbazo mpira sobola Anyumisa Nyumirwa Nyumirwa mkwa nukwe Mwondo kumotu woma na kuyomba Mwondo kumotu woma na kulwana Mwondo kumotu wotu jereka Wachi Mwondo kumotu woma na kuyomba Mwondo kumotu woma na kulwana Mwondo kumotu wotu jereka Wachi 